We're fortunate today to have one of our closest partners join us. I'd like to welcome Hans Vesberg, Chairman and CEO of Verizon, here to Apple Park. Hans, this really is a big day, and our teams have done some amazing work together. I want to thank you and the whole Apple team for a fantastic collaboration leading up to this historic moment. 5G just got real. We're excited to announce that Verizon is turning on our 5G nationwide network. Hey folks, thanks so much for joining us for another special edition of Up to Speed. Uh, I could watch that clip uh, over and over again. And we are here, of course, again on the second floor of our uh, Chicago store, our destination store here on the Mag Mile, Michigan Avenue, downtown Chicago, where 5G started 18 months ago, our very first, world's first mobile commercial 5G network. And here we are again on a milestone day, uh, less than 24 hours after that huge announcement. Uh, you saw Hans with Tim Cook, a great partnership there and some big announcements. So uh, let's, uh, let's really think about uh, what it means when we say 5G just got real. And with that, let's bring in Hans to talk about it. Hans, uh, it's been an incredible 24 hours. Hey, all the V-teamers. Yeah, it has been, uh, of course, an uh, exciting last 24 hours, but we all know this started way before with work in so many places. I will come back to that. First of all, I just, as I'm on the up to speed, you know what I'm going to say. We still are in a, a challenging situation, especially here in the U.S. with the pandemic. Uh, and uh, uh, employees is the number one priority when it comes to safety and the health of all of you. So I just want to remind you, I always start with that. And you know how important it is for us as a company to see that we're doing the right things for our employees, our customers and our society. And ultimately, that's going to pay off for our shareholders. That's how it works. Um, but coming back to yesterday, yeah, uh, yesterday was an important day. And uh, as I said, it started years ago when we started in the technology department thinking about what would be the future of our, our network technology. We built what we call the Intelligent Edge Network, which of course uh, Kyle and the team are doing a fantastic job with, which enabled us to be part of what happened yesterday. On top of that, of course, we laid out several different new business opportunities on 5G. And we have, during the last two years, had a number of announcements. Everything from the Mobile Edge Compute, together with Amazon. Of course, the 5G Home that Ronan and his team has been talking about. And now, the 5G Mobility. Even though we've talked about 5G Mobility so many times before, and we have launched important 5G devices as well. But clearly, with the width and breadth of uh, Apple, which is the, the crown jewel when it comes to smartphones, being part of their announcement, they validating our strategy, how we are building the network all the way from the best 4G network to actually having the ultra wide band with an enormous performance. And yesterday, as Kyle was here on Up to Speed speaking about how do we now do this also from a, uh, from a nationwide. So, it just comes together uh, yesterday, but it's so much hard work behind it. And I, I felt yesterday, and I got that comment from many employees, that we touched basically every part of this organization yesterday. Everyone ha had been part of that launch. Everyone from a network, from IT, consumer group, business group, media group. Everyone had been involved. And of course, all our uh, corporate staff that has helped us coming where we are right now. Marketing, finance, strategy, and all of it. So I, I have to say it wasn't important for me, but I also want to remind everyone how hard we have worked to get to that moment. And, uh, and of course, having that rubber stamp of one of the largest partners in the world when it comes to smartphones and thinking about the history, the partnership we have done the last couple of years with Disney, with Qualcomm's, with Ericsson's of the world, with Apple, the Amazons, etc. I think people are really realizing that we continue to lead this market and we will continue to do so and we should have a lot of confidence in what we're doing going forward. So, I think that's a, a summary of yesterday, but I just want to remind this is so much more of our overall strategy. And remember also, the Verizon 2.0 was infused in the middle of this in order for us to take advantage of it. And uh, I think that uh, many things have come together yesterday, but it's a long journey. And 
the game is just starting today. Because now uh, we really have a 5G phone for our mobility case that really will uh, take the market with the storm. We have the network. So now the hard work starts, but uh, a lot of hard work before that. It was wonderful seeing you and celebrating, and it was almost fun. More, you know, it was almost as fun watching uh, our colleagues react to seeing you on stage like that. So, Hans, thank you so much uh, for your leadership from start to finish here. And like you said, it's, it's just beginning. Now, I know you're, uh, you went from Cupertino uh, to Basking Ridge at headquarters, and I know you never know who you run into in the lobby there. Uh, and I. I think I see Kyle, Hans. Is that is that correct? Is, is that is there someone uh, there with you? He, he is somewhere here. He is somewhere here with social distancing. So I, I let him come in and I'm walking out. Yeah. Sounds Mask good. Off. Sounds hey, good. Andy. Kyle, you've had a busy day. Hey. How are you, sir? Back off, bro. Stay six feet away. Okay. <laughs> um, Kyle, yeah, we had a great day uh, yesterday. Had a huge day. And, uh, and really, let's keep talking about this amazing network and congratulate and extend those congratulations to our network team. Uh, what are you thinking now, 24 hours uh, into that announcement? You know, it's awesome when you're reading it. I mean, when you're watching that, um, <clears throat> you know, the, the announcement, you know, just a great deal of pride. And I saw, you know, Jim shared with me a lot of social, uh, what was going on and, and what people were saying about it. And I just saw, I talked to a lot of people last night and, just a great sense of pride. And everybody who's a V-teamer, I hope they feel the same sense of pride that I do. Like, like Han said, this has been long in the making. And listen, technology, you know, it's difficult. Sometimes you make a move here, you make a move there, it doesn't work out exactly right. But what's been great with this Apple announcement is there was almost an aha moment in the industry yesterday. We've been talking about millimeter wave for, for quite a long time and the benefits of it and how it pushes the technology forward. And having Apple and having that moment yesterday with Hans coming on, really made it, you know, it really brought it to life in a really big way for people. And now you're starting, you're seeing difference of opinions starting to come up now, like, huh, look at maybe this thing that, uh, uh, you know, Verizon was doing and been spending time on for a long time is really going to be a big deal. Now, now for us, we take a moment, we're really proud, the whole entire V team, but now what we're getting more excited about is people are going to get these devices, they're going to bring them out into our network, they're going to use them, they're going to enjoy the benefits, and for years to come, uh, you know, as Tim said, this is a new, this is a brand new age in wireless communications, and we're just proud and happy and honored and humble to be at the beginning of it, and we really look forward to uh, making great experiences, as Ronan said, for our customers now. It certainly is huge for us, and Kyle, thank you so much, and of course to our network team, and I know uh, your social distancing, but once again, I'm, I'm taking a look at the lobby here, Kyle, and I, I think there's somebody else there who wants to maybe talk about uh, the messaging and the marketing. We had some huge messaging come My out man. there. Kyle, do you see anybody? Kyle, do you see anybody? My man Diego's right here. <laughs> hey, Andy. Where, let me take my mask. Wear your mask, everybody. Wear your mask. It's good to see you, Andy. See you too, Diego. Talk to us about the big messaging. Uh, this is a moment. I know Ronan yesterday said, you know, okay, we've, we've now accomplished what we're, we're announcing, but now it's time to educate. Now it's time to really uh, use this opportunity uh, to make an impression on people. So talk to us about the big messaging uh, that we have ready uh, for this new 5G uh, uh, nationwide and 5G EW and uh, all the great things that are happening. Well, I'll tell you, this is, uh, this is a huge moment for our brand, uh, a moment that uh, has been uh, a while uh, in, the, in the making. Uh, so I'm very proud and, and, and also thankful to the whole marketing team across all businesses and our agencies that worked so hard to get us, uh, to get us there. Uh, but it was, it's, 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 a, it's a particular a spectacular moment, I would say, because now we're coming out in the marketplace with not only a great collaboration with Apple, but a very clear message that differentiates our brand. And I thought uh, it wouldn't be a, a good, a good uh, discussion with me if I didn't show you a video. So I wanted to uh, play the commercial that we launched uh, last night uh, across all networks uh, that introduces uh, how 5G just got real. Hi, I'm Chris Rock. Oh, oh, it's not about me. I get it. No, no, no. Zoom in on it. The new iPhone 12 Pro with 5G meets Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband. You want me to turn it around? Pow! This is a game changer. 5G just got real, man. 
Remember when the song in the summer took the whole summer to download? One time I waited 51 minutes for Janelle Monet's dirty computer to download. That's longer than the whole album. But these G's don't blink. iPhone and Verizon ain't playing around. Remember when you tried to watch Bigger and Blacker and by the time it downloaded, I was older and thinner? Now, done. Remember when you could only watch the NFL on TV? Remember when you didn't have five different camera angles and replays? Football just got 5G real. Remember when the only way multiplayer gaming worked was with Wi-Fi? Boom, legendary fast with Verizon 5G. Remember when you found out eSports was a real thing and kids half your age were making twice your salary? Yep. Remember when I tell you to clean your room? Nope. You remember when your allowance is due? You never forget that. iPhone on Verizon 5G. This is gonna change everything. 5G just got real. Pow! 5G ultra wideband. Now in more and more cities. That looks amazing, and, and I tell you, uh, and, and the one of the, uh, I mean, first of all, if Chris Rock says it, it must be true, right? Uh, but I, I tell you, uh, one of the things that I'm most excited is that uh, this is a, the, the largest and broadest campaign uh, we've ever done uh, at Verizon in terms of across all of our businesses, business, consumer, brand, with partners included. It's gonna be long and deep. Uh, so so it, it's really uh, uh, compelling when we think about that because uh, as, as we said, the best marketing is the one that, I always say, the best marketing is the one that you don't need to make up. And in this case, our story is very clear. When we said this is the 5G America's been waiting for, and I wanna be very clear about the story that we're telling, it's about the coverage and reliability on 5G that you are, uh, always expect from Verizon, and then the unprecedented performance of 5G ultra wideband. When you think about that cocktail, we are unbeatable. And if you think about it, what we did uh, starting 18 uh, months ago, our first phase was being first on 5G. Then we moved into Build Right, which was about how we're building the network, everything that is going on building something super special, as Kyle described. And now we are in the get real phase, which is about getting consumers and customers on the business side to experience 5G. And I tell you, the partnerships with the NFL, with the New York Times, with League of Legends, that is work that we started, I tell you, almost a year ago, because we thought that it was important that now we put 5G in the hands of our customers so they can experience it by themselves. And it's a great ex example, I think, how do you do market this, marketing these days? Not just adverts, but also experiences. Diego, you are getting so much love uh, on uh, the ad. Uh, on, as always, I'm watching the comments here on uh, Periscope on Twitter, and people are loving it. Video is fire, cool, and amazing. I mean, I personally haven't enjoyed a Chris Rock uh, ad this much since uh, Anthony Hardaway had uh, basketball shoes. But uh, what a get and what a fun ad. And, Diego, thank you so much uh, for, for making sure that our messaging matters and that our partnerships matter as well. And I saw, Diego, I noticed you've got the shirt on. 5G just got real. I've got my shirt right here as well. And uh, this feels like a, like a championship shirt, you know? Um, so it I'm is. Thinking, uh, it is. is. Yes, yes, it is. We, we have just won the championship, but, of course, we're not going to be resting on our laurels. That said, we do want to make sure that we continue to spread the message. So if you'd like that shirt, um, if we have the slide, go ahead and take it. But the link is VZ, the number two, point the number zero dot com so go ahead and check that out and if you buy this shirt proceeds will be going to v to v as well so diego thank you so much and uh, looking forward uh, to more in this campaign yes get the shirt thank you um now thank you i i notice uh we've got some people in the lobby at basking ridge but i know we've got some folks uh watching as well and i see in the background video here i i think this is i think guru's watching is that is that Guru? Uh, yes, uh, you know, I'm here us? from uh, New York. You're from excellent. I see Guru's got the shirt on as well. So Guru, let's talk a little bit about how 5G is going to change live events, uh, the impact on advertisers. You know, Verizon Media full of storytellers, and there's there's stories to tell. But now 5G, the storytelling game has changed as well. Yeah, hey, thanks, Andy, for the question. And first, I do want to, that was an amazing ad what Diego just talked about uh, on the 5G side. It makes our life easy now when you think about talking about use cases. So Diego and team, amazing job. Uh, but first, let me extend 
my deep gratitude, thanks, and congratulations to the network team for this huge endorsement from Apple. I mean, I am beyond a proud V-teamer. Uh, the progress we made over the last so many months and years to get to this part, so it's amazing. Our 5G network, Andy, to your point, is the foundation of some of the Verizon Media's most ambitious projects. You know, those experiences you heard from Diego as well, and you mentioned, which is from sports, gaming, to journalism, it's no secret the way we consume media and the, in those spaces will get exponentially better with ultra fast speed, the low latency and massive capacity. Uh, I, many times I've said this before, but 5G is truly going to change and disrupt the entertainment and the media industry. And when you think about 5G network connectivity coupled with the other powerful technologies like augmented reality and virtual reality, it will revolutionize live events and the fan experience. I think you saw that in the ad yesterday, the multi-camera sports, uh, what do you call super stadium app. It's amazing what is going to change, and it will enable VMG, when you think about us, to power a new kind of immersive consumer experience, which is easily accessible through the web and everyday mobile. Basically, the way we think about this is democratizing AR and VR technology and the impact for our advertisers, how we make revenue, and publishers will be even massive. Imagine a world where you're reading Yahoo News or the New York Times, and the editorial and the news experience is enabled by augmented reality. So for our partners, this brings their readership closer to the story in a way that really wasn't possible before. And then you can bet wherever our customers are, whenever they're looking for those amazing experiences, our 5G network will be the key to delivering those next-gen capabilities. So uh, I'm excited. I think it's going to overall transform how we consume trusted content, how we connect in smaller or bigger communities, and how we transact. Back to you, Andy. Guru, we're looking, we're looking forward to um, all of what 5G can offer in terms of the way that we tell our stories and, and shape our, our uh, creative endeavors. Uh, Guru, thank you so much, uh, and uh, congratulations uh, to our media team on the cusp of some big, big projects coming up. Guru, thank you. Uh, we're going to head back uh, to the lobby now because I think I see a few more leaders there, and uh, oh, I think that's Tammy, uh, social distancing and masked up there, and uh, Tammy, it's good to be with you today, and uh, let's talk about... Uh, the enterprise portion of what 5G means. We've already seen some game-changing partnerships. Uh, we know our enterprise customers are looking for this. Uh, so, Tammy, what is your reaction to the announcement yesterday, and what does that mean uh, for VBG? Yeah, terrific. Thank you, Andy. And I hope you saw my mask was camo because it is time to go fight win as we think about uh, what we can deliver in fourth quarter. What an exciting day yesterday was, but it's really the next in the journey that we've been on of 5G first for our customers. And I want to just add my thanks to Kyle and the entire network team for the work that they've done to lead the world to 5G. And what yesterday did was really validate all the work that everyone's been doing to talk about 5G. And for business in particular, we've talked about eight currencies. We've talked about uh, 5G that was built for industrial and commercial use cases. We've talked about 5G for digital transformation on behalf of our customers. And so yesterday, it really brought the ecosystem to life as we think about how do we now expand the number of devices that are available. Customers love Apple. The ability to put more devices and more hands on the network that people love and the ability to have 55 5G UWB markets uh, for our customers that are in the midst of digital transformation, super powerful. I also love that customers are now beginning to see those use cases real time. So whether it's Corning and what they're doing in their factory or whether it's Penske and what they did in the Indy 500 uh, or it's New York Times, we're beginning to see applications and use cases come to life that can only be delivered on the power of 5G. And so for me yesterday, for the entire B2B team, it just filled our arsenal full of things that we have to compete and to win and to deliver on behalf of our customers the solutions they need now more than ever. Thank you so much, and we're looking forward uh, to fostering more and more of those business relationships, and thank you for your leadership on the VBG side there. Uh, and I know that Ronan was in the office yesterday, and I'm wondering if he's uh, uh, around the lobby there. Do you see him, Tammy? 
Oh, surprise, I surprise, you. Andy. Hey. hey. Uh, Ronan, uh, we spent some time talking about uh, all things 5G, all things iPhone, and uh, yesterday, uh, no surprise, uh, uh, quite a few uh, of our media friends wanted to talk to you about what this means for our customers. Uh, let's talk about the, the, trans the transformative mo moment uh, yesterday and what this means, especially for our customers. Well, thank you, Andy, and let me start. Andy, you're in Chicago in retail, so I'm wearing my retail outfit today, so <clears throat> I've got a quota, hopefully you've got one too. So look, this is such an exciting time, but what's really important to recognize is that we have aligned the planets. You know, the network team have done brilliant work. You know, Kyle says to me, I'll build stuff, you need to sell stuff. So now we have the opportunity to sell the reality of 5G to a wide customer base, not just those who've already had the opportunity to discover within the Android ecosystem, but actually now broadening this out. And essentially, yesterday, 5G went nationwide because the big OSs now support it and Verizon switched on the 5G nationwide network for over 200 million population, as well as increasing the number of uh, cities that are available for our ultra wideband as well as Stadia. So I want people to think about this is 5G is about at scale. It's all the opportunities we had but weren't sure that we had the wherewithal to deliver them on behalf of customers. <clears throat> now there are no barriers. 5G is that enablement. It's the thing that brings the best partners in the world together and say that we want, they want to work with uh, Verizon. But all I would say to everybody who's listening today is consider yesterday as the firing of the starting gun, not crossing the finishing line. <clears throat> we have the opportunity across Q4 and then into 2021 to truly live up to the promise that we set ourselves at the beginning of the year, which was to make 5G impossible to ignore. I couldn't be more excited about the position we find ourselves in. And now I want to make sure that everybody in the business has what they need to be the success they deserve to be and deliver experience to our customers that's unprecedented and unparalleled. We're not just surviving this year. We're thriving, and we're going to do that on behalf of customers and employees to give them what they expect, which is the best of experiences for our consumers and the best of solutions for our business customers. This is now. This is real. This is a moment of opportunity. We need to seize it and seize it fast. We've done so much despite uh, 2020's challenges, Ronan, and thank you uh, uh, for pointing out to our retail teams out there. Thank you for doing what you do. And I can tell you here in the destination store, uh, the energy is huge. And maybe towards the end of the show, uh, we can show you a little bit of that energy. Uh, but uh, Ronan, I wanted to just follow up. Uh, we got to learn a little bit about the features of the iPhone 12. Uh, what are your favorites as you're reading up on it? And uh, what do you think our customers are going to be most excited about? Well, one of the things I'm particularly excited about is the, the potential of 5G to allow you to be there when you can't be there. So think about the NFL, <clears throat> think about the uh, opportunity to have multi-camera uh, views, think about that immersive video, think about live entertainment when we're back doing that, and the opportunity to have those fan experiences that you could never have dreamed of before. This is when AR and VR get real. Because guess what? 5G just got real. So it's about experiences, about rich, deep, immersive experiences. And if you're out there and you're thinking about why should I buy a phone now, that's an investment for the next two to three years. And what you've got today is a game changer. And what we promise is we'll continue to change the game with the sort of partnerships that we're establishing with Amazon, with Apple, with Disney, and more to come. So watch this space. It gets even more exciting. Ronan, thank you very much. We are just as excited. And of course, uh, thank you uh, to all of our leaders uh, joining us to highlight the significance of yesterday and, of course, the significance we will continue to build. Uh, Ronan, I think Hans is still hanging out there. And so we'll send it back to Hans uh, with some final thoughts. Uh, I didn't realize how many of our, our leaders would be just hanging around the lobby there, but I'm, I'm glad that you're social distancing, wearing masks, and uh, making sure that we're, we're talking to our employees uh, the right way. Yes, I'm here, I'm back. Yes, we are. And um, great to listen to the other leaders, how this all hangs together with our strategy and that every unit on our company is touched by this. So I have to say a uh, big shout out to the whole organization for what we have achieved so far. But as Ronan said, this is the kickoff. And uh, I think that uh, Tammy said it as well, where you're starting right now and we put the fundamentals in there. 
competition wants to beat us. We have been leading this industry and will continue to do so. So it's a great uh, moment for us. And uh, just as everybody is speaking about it, I just want to show you uh, we have the iPhone here, I have the iPhone. And it's a great, great gadget. And uh, as uh, Ronan said, what is really exciting is, of course, the the power of the speed and the capacity uh, which enables total new viewerships uh, with the NFL app that uh, Guru and his team has been developing together with uh, NFL or uh, the, the Riot game that will come out later, Wild Rift, which is a multiplayer on it. And finally, we heard about the New York Times, which we had a long relationship with, which are thinking about the future of content in the, in the world of 5G. So, all in all, again, it's about us, what we're doing, but also with our partners, how they are validating our strategy and how they're working with us. So, again, it's a great day for the company. It's sort of another landmark that we've done, and I have been part of so many landmarks the last couple of years, and I'm so proud of the organization, what we've done so far. Uh, we have more to do. And uh, I remind all of us that we still are in the pandemic and, uh, and in tough situation uh, across the globe and here in the US. And uh, we need to continue to think about each other and taking care of each other. And remember also to reach out to a friend. And uh, if you don't know what to speak about at the dinner table or when you meet friends next time, virtually or uh, face to face, I, I think it's pretty simple. I mean, you start with a network we're built. You talk about 5D, and then you talk about what we're doing at Apple. I think you can probably spend a, a long, long dinner or a lunch or a conversation discussing that. So um, that's my advice to all of you out there. You are the big ambassadors for our brand and for our company. I know that Diego and the team are doing fantastic of branding and perception. But to be honest, all of us, we are the brand ambassadors for this company. And what you are doing out there, if you're in a store, you're working technology, the IT, accounting, doesn't really matter. You all are wearing our brand, and you all are V-teamers. And today, more than ever, I'm so proud of all of you. So thank you very much. And Andy, thank you. Back to you. Hans, thank you so much. And yes, looking forward to that next dinner. We're going to make it a, a six, you know what? We'll make it a five course meal uh, for 5G uh, and be uh, sharing all that we've learned. Uh, Hans, thank you very much. Now, my I, my uh, AirPod just fell out here, which is good because I think uh, what we're going to try and do uh, is close the show with a little bit of uh, uh, take you there uh, TV magic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, as Hans mentioned, this message that we're talking about, it, it continues. And it's happening right now. That dinner table is happening all over the place here. And uh, we've got a, a bit of a dinner table downstairs. So through the magic of television, folks, as we close out the show, we've got a few minutes until uh, 1130 Eastern here, or 1230 Eastern, sorry, Central Time, Chicago. I want to take you downstairs. So I will uh, mute my mic on this camera, tech team. And I will unmute myself on our iPad here, and I'm going to take you to our to our store downstairs. So I'm masked up and ready to go. So let's uh, let's see if this works. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me. But as you can see here, they're changing up the uh, the signage here, 5G uh, in the uh, 5G uh, lab upstairs. But I do want to take you downstairs and show you what we're doing. So come with me as we head down to our destination store. Uh, and folks, uh, what's fantastic about this, of course, is uh, this is where, this is where uh, it all started 18 months ago in the uh, Chicago Destination Store. And uh, already after day one, you are getting to see the big changes here. So that we are, I'm gonna switch my camera. And here we are, we are on the first floor now of the Destination Store. And, uh, and I just wanna show you a couple of, uh, of, uh, of things here. The sign back here, is already talking about 5G. Um, so uh, 5G from America's most reliable network here. Uh, we've got signage all over. Uh, and then you've got the QR codes where you can scan and explore. Um, our our uh, retail team, of course, is part of that work, making sure that uh, this all matters for our customers. And uh, as we close out, folks, I know it's a little loud, but uh, as we close out, I just want to say, uh, thank you to uh, this entire team here in the Destination Store in Chicago. There's a lot to talk about. Uh, there's a lot to be proud of. And um, it's amazing to think in 18 months when we launched 5G uh, here in Chicago, um, 
here we are now really showing what 5G is all about. I'm, I'm just going outside. Let's uh, enjoy a little bit of that Chicago weather. Um, so here we are from outside uh, our destination store here in Michigan Avenue. Uh, until next time, folks, you're up to speed. We'll see you soon. I'm going to go get a deep dish pizza or something. See ya.